Hello and welcome everybody, Adam the Silly Host is here and today we are continuing to play Chicken Police. Last time where we left off was here, <laughs> meeting Marty Huek, who seems to have shot uh, our hero before. So they have some issues, but let's look around before we do that. I mean, yeah, that's really nice. Long thighs and a big gun. That's Marty's idea of a perfect woman. <laughs> Can't blame him for it. Oh, neither do I. She looks hot indeed. Hey, you... If... Oh. Hello, Cassandra. I hope we'll meet again. Oh, God, I'm starting to sound like Marty. <laughs> that little note down there. What can I say? Classic Marty. But what does it say? That little note that... Hey, you, if you let the ammunition boxes open again, I will kick your fucking ass. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. What I would love if I could enlarge uh, these also, because like this, I really have to, like, go close to the screen. That little note down there. Ah, no. Let's get away from here, so... I was just about to go when you came in, so if you want shooting practice, maybe turn on the lights first. You're right. I'm gonna do that. Uh, Claudia, Susie, Big Bertha to Linda? <laughs> Her Majesty Big Bertha. <laughs> or rather, Big Bertha too, because there was one before her, a sawed-off little broad, but we lost her in a swamp. Marty <laughs> cried for a week, but once he saw this giant lady here, the balance of the universe was restored. I have a friend like that who really loves guns. I still remember her kiss. What can I say? It's the experience of a lifetime. Was he shot by a shotgun? I still remember... I believe this piece is forbidden. Cops can't use it, but this is Marty's personal collection, so it doesn't matter. At least nobody has ever... <laughs> no, no, nobody has ever lived to come. Linda. Or maybe Layla. Can't remember. Fortunately, I had the displeasure of meeting her only a couple of times on duty. She bites. Just like the women Marty loves. <laughs> Linda. Claudia. Tiny, dark, and angry, and hits you where it hurts the most. Marty only uses her in very dark cases, and on those nights she almost always takes a life, or maybe two. Ooh. Marty only uses... I know her well. Marty calls her Susie, and I have to say, this little she-devil pulled us out of many tough situations over the years. Marty has a dozen guns, but Susie's one of his favorites. He got her from a fish we rescued from muddy waters together. Marty has a dozen guns. Okay, I sold the guns. I don't really want to shoot now, but let's check the book. What do we have here? People... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We are actually getting somewhere. Who is it? Stop. Hold on. Yeah, I would love if it wouldn't be flashing, because why? Anyway, it seems that we already met like half the characters. I really hope that it won't be a fast game, but anyway, so let's see Marty. Marty looks good. Big and loud and angry as always. <laughs> well, he's a chicken. What did you expect? <laughs> hey, Marty. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. What, are you lost? This is the PD building, you know? Cut the shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Yeah, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. 
Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. <laughs> okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny. Stop it right there. I'm in. That's... <laughs> that's it? Uh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid reckless shit? Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so, tell me. What's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, oh, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha... Okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Men who are naming their guns. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> all right, Susie can come. Um. It says that the stream is dropping frames. Well, that's I what I want to hear. Really <laughs> Nobody's watching the streams. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Hey Marty, what about Laura? How come she didn't eat you yet? Yeah, glad to hear it. She asks a lot about you. Really? Yeah. She always hated you for getting me into trouble all the time. Understandable. But she also felt sorry for you. Oh, well, thanks. That's... Uh... <laughs> if I'm honest with you, she loved the chicken police, Marty, better than this one. <laughs> well, I think I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Whatever, Sonny. So, uh, Sonny... You still limping? The pellets tore my right hip to pieces. So yes, the doctor says I'll limp forever. Oh, nice. Ah, good to hear that. Fuck off. Okay, that's... Moses is the Tibetan sand fox and Plato is a palace cat. They are all rivals of Sony and Marty currently working at the Colonial Police Homicide Division. Ah, good to know. So, shooting practice, maybe? Uh, get a hint, leave shooting range. You know, I have to reload. Oh, Ooh, I am not a good at this. Try again just for the funds. It's not the aim aiming gun. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Ah, 
Uh, this is really tricky. Well, that's better. At least uh, now I know how to shoot. Uh, leave the shooting range. Uh, I guess I can, might be able to come back. Here. Still drink coffee? Yeah, my only poison. Except for guns, of course. And women. Oh, yeah. We well, could visit our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zip's coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight, too, huh? <laughs> if it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Oh uh, yeah, like laugh. Those were uh, different times, Marty, with a different Sonny. Uh, well, all right. To the city then. You don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's. Uh, Sonny, there's a little problem. Not so little, and it smells too. What the furry hell is Blood Boil doing here? <laughs> Ah, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Of course. Oh, yes, we can. You have your rifle with you. R what? <laughs> Just kidding. So the chief doesn't seem to be in a good mood, but he never is, actually. What a surprise. The two pigeons back together. And without my permission, of course. Chief Bloodboil. Damn. What was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, hey, hey. Careful with the racist barking, old hound. Oh, oh it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. Yep. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper. And you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica. And then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. <laughs> oh, just a coffee, boss. I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. Oh, dear. Uh, How touching. You shot him with a shotgun, if I remember. <laughs> Family quarrel. <laughs> okay. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight. Have a lovely evening, Bob. You especially. Fuck off right now, Santino. I see you're swamped, buddy. I've sent the old lizard away. I don't need him to foul the air anymore. I hate his kind anyway. Well, because he's a reptile? No, because oh. he's a good-for-nothing piece of shit. Oh, yeah, that's true. And you? Are you letting off some steam? Something like that. We'll go and check out some seedy joint. We're cops, after all, ain't we? And this is still Clawville. That's true, pal. Protect and serve. Yeesh, get a serve ring, and you protect. two. Ah, shut up, Marty. <laughs> New function, ask. Hop dog. Obart Ibn Wessler. What do you know about Ibn Wessler? What's the old rat been up to lately? They say he's keeping a pretty low profile these days. But he's been seen in the company of the Attorney General. Wow. Attorney General Hamtaro, eh? Oh, that's interesting. Thanks. Why are you so interested in that rat? If you want another hole in your comb, I could help you too, you know. It yeah, of course. Oh. And I'm a fluffy little Labrador. Whoa, 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 you forgot to mention this nugget about the case, Sonny? Ibn Clucking Wessler? What the hell did you get into? Far as I remember, you didn't let me tell you in the first place. <laughs> well, you're in now. No way back. You're a piece of shit, Sonny, you hear me? What's this all about? 
Easy, chicken. I'll tell you everything soon enough. Let's just get the hell out of here first. Uh, if I already told you it's a pleasure working with you again? No, but that's always good to hear, partner. Cluck <laughs> <laughs> off. <laughs> what have you heard about the hop dog? Is it still standing? Yeah, it is. But I don't frequent that neighborhood. You shouldn't either. Things have escalated there recently. Why is it so quiet in here? Shouldn't it be a madhouse by now? The midnight madness is yet to come, Sonny. Just wait for it. My time's too valuable for that, pal. And you're trespassing. Rules of suspension, remember? I can see you're up to no good. Who, us? Ridiculous. <laughs> if you say so. But I advise you to keep it low. Especially you, Sonny. How many days do you have until retirement? 121. 120 soon. Don't be a knucklehead and get yourself fired. Thanks for your eternal wisdom, Bosco. I'm definitely coming to you again next time. <laughs> We're leaving, sweetheart. Stay safe, boys. I'm glad to see you two together again. I'm afraid you're alone with that. Hey, don't make me change my mind. You won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some serious trouble again. Yep, that's true. I'm serious, boys. Be careful out there. We're big birds, Monica. We can take care of ourselves. Mostly. Mostly. Okay, but take care of each other, too. Will do, Monica. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Monica. Remember that invitation from the other day? Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Marty. I'd love to, but I've got a lot of work to do. You know how it is. Please tell your sweetheart that I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I understand. No problem. We'll meet at the annual party anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. I'll tell Laura. I have a strange feeling that we'll meet again tonight. Strange. I have that feeling too. That's it's weird. I was real. just thinking the same thing. Okay, I guess that is... Oh, okay, yeah, sir. Maybe next time. I'm not in the mood to meet any of my ex-colleagues right now. Okay. I guess... Look at these two simpletons. <laughs> They don't even realize their jackets are full of holes. For the wild god's sake, don't dare tell them. I already tried, but nothing happened. Figures. <laughs> anyway. So, we have some new information or people. No places. So we have to go there, hop dog. Oh. Water Atlas. Hop dog. Okay, so these are things that we should do. And we should go here. The hop dog was like the last warning. You can still turn back. My eyes lingered on the sign. An enormous dog. Like a neon god with limitless power over cheap hot dogs, plastic hamburgers, and water. Fly guy. <laughs> Old car, the city. Peaceful, isn't it? Because mm, the whole town's probably drunk by now. Maybe that's the only way it can bear itself. Doesn't it remind you of someone? Shut up, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Got you there, old bird. Oh, yeah, you did. Even though it's a mess, I still can't imagine living anyplace else. You know what? I envy you for that. Even though it's a mess... You know what? I... Did this wreck belong to Zip? Well, it's a wreck just like him, so I guess it could. Look at the poor bastard. 
He's looking okay, Marty. Remember what we saw when we worked at the Hive? Wild ones. Don't even remind me. I'm trying to forget that shit every day. It's been even worse since. I guess you heard about the riots. Who hasn't? You know, people are afraid that the Great Fire will happen again, and those hive houses are pretty flammable. I don't speak of the devil, Marty. But to be honest, I... I have no idea how this insect matter can be solved. I do. We just open the ghettos and let the insects live among us like they did for centuries. Your heart is pure gold, buddy. But you know it's not that easy. Clawville isn't what it used to be. Hey, pal. Can you hear me? Not really. <laughs> Are you sure that thing's a dog? I always wondered. The name Hop Dog is quite a giveaway. Don't you think so, Mr. Detective? <laughs> Sometimes the most natural connections lead us astray. Who said that? A natural born genius? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Let's see. What do we have? A codex. Some parts of the city, but uh, became a vault of ghetto and incivilization forced to live with an evil strategy. The organizing the city. Wow. Fly guys, we don't serve bucks here. That's racist. Of all that's furry, is this still a thing? <laughs> the situation's getting even worse, Marty. Have you heard how the young mothers of the cobbler district are forced to make a living? I have no idea what goes on in the hive, Sonny. I don't think I want to know. But you're still gonna tell me, right? Probably. Prostitution is the lesser evil. What's worse is that some folks have to sell their kids when they're still larvae. Wait, what? Dude. Why? They pay a hefty sum for each of them downtown. They sell them as gourmet oh. food in the most expensive restaurants. Dude. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I am We sick. made this city, Marty. Clawville didn't do this to itself. Don't ever forget that. Let's get down. Ugh, the place is deserted. Poor Zip. You're right. Yep, the guy's middle name is Bad Luck. That's for sure. Ah, it's a raccoon. No, jukebox. That's right, I have no not all cops are pigs. Anyway, poster. Fly with me, baby. And voila! The master himself! What a finch. Eh, uh, Sonny, he's a pigeon, not a finch. Don't make <laughs> me angry, Marty. <laughs> okay, I was only joking. Uh... Cold coffee, doodles, the menu, door. Almost ham and tomato, quasi meat and cheese. Oh, but big. <laughs> you still don't eat meat, old man? <coughs> I'm a rooster, a chicken. Why the hell would I eat meat? I don't mean real meat. I'm not a lunatic. Chicken. But a meat substitute? Chicken about are ten actually different kinds. eating meat. You never like tried any all of kinds of bugs and larvae. If I don't eat whatever. meat, why would I eat a substitute? Because you can. That's the point. Wild gods, Marty. Stop being such a sheep. Do you fall for those adverts? Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? I don't care what you eat. But don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg one day. 
Yeah. You should try fried chicken. <laughs> anyway, what do we ask? The highlight of my day. Yeah, I can smell it already. How does he make the coffee here so special? Look at that mangy trash panda and tell me, do you really want to know? Um, you're right. As always. <laughs> Fuck the king. Where are all the colors? Well, go? that's a good question, pal. You know what? I was thinking the same thing. You know what? What insight. Wise words, pal. Fuck the king. Oh, because it's a kingdom. And obviously the only king can be the lion, since the lion king. The door didn't look like this last time. Yeah, because last time you tore it out and beat that baboon with it. Oh, yeah. I remember now. <laughs> so that's why Zip remodeled the whole place. He had to. We didn't leave much of it standing. If I didn't know how nice we are, I'd almost hate ourselves. Of course. Welcome to the club, partner. Okay, let's get down with Zip. He sure didn't get any younger. Or prettier. You think he's still mad at us? Frankly, Marty, I don't give a damn. <laughs> These are typical good cops. Hello, boys. Now, get the hell out of here while I'm asking nicely. Hey, <laughs> is that how you greet two old friends? Hey, I'm not joking, Sonny. I got a shotgun under the bar. No, you don't, because if you had, we'd arrest you here and now. If there's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. Ah, it's going well so far. <laughs> We're just here for a coffee, Zip. Okay? Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's quite noticeable. Shit. All right. And where'd you blow in from? We haven't been anywhere yet, but we're going somewhere. Everybody's going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? That depends. How deep is it? Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around Ibn Wessler. Holy hell! Wessler? You've dipped your wings in deep shit, boys! If you've got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be... grateful. Grateful? Maybe you're not gonna trash my joint this time, eh? You know, Ibn's acting strange nowadays. He always believed that if you want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years, anyway. And? But now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. And ever since, he's been kinda weird, bottomed out, brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Nobody ever knew him to be like this. Weird, huh? Yeah, weird. Do you think it's about a lady? It's always about a lady. Well, there is a uh... woman. I knew it. Bad, not like you think. That's a revelation. Is this gonna cost much? Only a favor. Like the good old days. Okay, I'm in. Uh. Have you ever been to that place? Of course, a hundred times. Everyone who matters in this city's been there. Sorry, guys. But then, it had a different name and a different owner. Business affairs, right? Yeah, that was the dark era, Sonny. I don't want to talk about it. Roger that. I've got to say, you've revamped the joint pretty well. Yeah, after you trashed it, I had to. Look, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Zip. That ocelot and his gorilla. Baboon, not gorilla. Whatever. <laughs> Sonny, <clears throat> exactly. watch your beak. So you owe me one until about the end of time. But I'd settle for you washing up here for a few years after retirement, Sonny. Mind your tongue for a ball. <laughs> so, Ibn's gone insane. Love will kill you in the end, they say. Seems like everyone's in a poetic mood today. You're one to talk, by the way. Huh? <laughs> Why? So, about that woman. Is she really that dangerous? <laughs> what woman isn't, eh? No, Zip. 
I mean, really dangerous. She's got the most influential gangster of the city wrapped around her finger. She calls him her little furball. How dangerous do you think she is? Hmm. He has a point. You didn't get any younger, pal. You're telling me? You look like you haven't had a good night's sleep since forever. To be honest, I've never had a good night's sleep in my life. <laughs> you will when the big sleep comes. And what are your plans? Dying behind the bar? Of course. You got a better idea? A couple, yeah. But somehow this suits you. You know what? Your mother's a goat. <laughs> she probably was. That Natasha's a mysterious woman. A real cursed jewel, if you ask me. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago and landed on the stage of the millions almost immediately. Is that so? Interesting. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice. Makes men go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Then suddenly, bam! She got the whole club. Just like that. But we know exactly how it was. I can imagine, yeah. Since then, it operates under the name The Czar Club, right? The old click is still clicking, right? Yeah. The club was renamed and remodeled. Everyone knows she was Ibn's lover, but she's not your usual canary. She didn't get involved in Ibn's dirty dealings. Then how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses and gave control to Mongrel Mick and his mob. Mongrel Mick? Doesn't sound familiar. Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Damn, that little monkey came this far? <laughs> uh, I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Which has something to do with this Natasha, right? That's my guess. Thanks for this straight dope, Zip. We owe you one. One? You owe me the price of a new coffee shop, remember? Okay, okay. Whatever you need. Just call us. I cluck and will. Thanks, pal. Hey, I'm not your pal, Marty. <laughs> okay. Good. You sure talk a lot. Yeah, maybe the past is haunting. Oh, come on, Zippy. Yeah, right. It's more than what many others get, believe me. So sometimes when you click on it, it gives you new information, but after a time it just gives you ir irrelevant talking, so... Questions? No, I already did that. Uh, so, new people, maybe? No places. Hotel Atlas. Codex. Meet substitutes, Monger or Mick. Stats. Oh, I don't have much. So I guess we should just go. I mean, my first problem is that there is no clear indication when you are done with the place uh, or if you should do something more, which is kind of good if you think about uh, the game not giving too much uh, uh, clues to you or help, hints. But on the other hand, it's like I feel a little lost sometimes. And uh, the communication system is like horrible that I have to click here and there and there all the time to keep a communication rolling in, instead of just automating the whole thing. I mean, yeah, that should have been done a bit better, I think. But let's see what can we do. PD Hotel Atlas or the Zara Club. Let's check the hotel, I guess. Yee! My condolences, pal. I see your cleaning lady died. Yeah, oh, I she set foot in the bedroom once. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen her since. I didn't dare to go after her. 
Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But what's that smell? Ah, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, but no, this is lavender? Ah, that. Right. No, that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. Ah, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. An Impala, maybe? Ooh, what a detective. Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because your nose is better than a clucking bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all foul. Ah, yeah, true. Except for Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. So, <clears throat> what now? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. After you, Boss Bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and stare out the window? <laughs> sure, just do it quietly. So what do we need to do here? My wife took all the good ones. She knew they'd only gathered... What do they need? Maybe in another life... Mm, it would be best to board it up. It'd go well with this rundown neighborhood. It may be run down, but somehow I still feel like it's honest. Sure. You can live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place, too. Has a similar stink. <laughs> Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. Uh, why am I not surprised? When was the last time you've slept in your bedroom? I don't know. I'm not sure I'd even recognize it anymore. Uh, you're hopeless, boss. I guess you're right. Just a bunch of useless crap in there. Have you started on your great novel yet? I've already started working on my will, but I realize <laughs> I'd have to leave everything to you, so cluck that. Huh. Pity. I've always wanted a chicken coop smelling like old socks and bourbon. <laughs> You'll have to earn it first, Marty. I suppose two shots was enough for today. So seriously, what do I have to do here? My bedroom. Maybe in another... I'm gonna clean up. I can't even... Re Just a bunch of... You're getting older, Marty. You look like shit. Ah, gee, thanks. I thought angels don't grow old. Ah, leave it, will ya? Sure. Boo-hoo, huh? <laughs> when was the last time I was here? I don't know. Years ago. When Molly left. Whew, that was a... a wild night. Yeah. You know, Sonny... You can call me. Not just when you want to investigate some shady case from a shady dame and you need a big meat shield to cover your ass. <laughs> Times have changed, Marty. And I don't call anyone. Oh. All right. All right, Boss Bird. Whatever you say. Oh, no, I can ask. Have you been there before? Uh, never. You know, it's not my style. It's too fancy for me. I'm more like the smoky, smelly, ramshackle little joint type. Yeah, same here. But we're not gonna mingle like this, right? We're not searching for a tailor on New Year's Eve, okay? We'll go as we are. That'll be exciting. Let's just stay out of trouble, okay? What trouble? That's the spirit. <laughs> so why did I have to come here? to my home. I know that it's optional, but 
I could have talked to Marty at any place. So she just turned up with a message on this flyer, and you fell for it? Maybe I was bored. Or maybe there's more to this thing than meets the eye. Yeah, there's always more. Maybe I just wanted to meet you, for old time's sake. That's not funny. <laughs> I've never had a good sense of humor. You know that better than anyone. That's for sure. So the Czar Club, huh? My city's on fire. Sounds good. But that's all? It's kind of weak for a clue. It's not a clue. It's just a guide. By the way, it's New Year's Eve. We deserve some fun, right? Oh, well, yeah. that's true. But it's never that easy with you, Boss Bird. There's something you're not telling me, right? Nothing important, Marty. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. If you say so. Oh, hi, Mr. Sinclair. How are we? Sinclair is doing fine, thanks. Anyway, you still talk to your guns? Probably. <laughs> yeah. And so what? Other animals talk to their plants. Crazy, isn't it? At least a gun has a soul. And it's useful. I can't believe you're allowed to walk around freely, Birdie. Oh, if you only knew what I'm packing right now. I don't want to know what's under your feathers, Marty. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. <laughs> so, am I staring quietly enough? Well, the floor's creaking a bit when you shift your weight, so, uh... You're an asshole. Agreed. So... No more plans. Yeah. I just want to look around a little. I'm ready. Yeah. All right, Sonny. Then grab your map and let's hit the road. Uh, grab your map. What's the thing? You have what we came for? I just want to look around a little. I'm ready. Yeah. All right, Sonny. Then grab your map. Okay, then I guess it was an indication that we could... Oh, grab your map. Okay, so... Go back there. That's why. I don't know. I asked there every question I could. I might have missed something, but uh, like I care. Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main streets toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. It's a nice car. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Uh, cops were never welcomed at places like this. They hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. <laughs> oh, the, the bunny again. Ah, so this is the famous Czar Club. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul here. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Boss Bird. Very funny, Marty. So what are we gonna do now? We find Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. Excuse me? On behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of Clawville? Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? As you say, Boss Bird. Now, let's see. What can we do here? Let's check the poster. Ooh, ladies. Ah, you know, seeing this... I can't wait for the show. The girls? Of course. New Year's Eve's once a year, right? And we're not on duty. Have I asked how Laura's doing? Whoa, hey, I, <laughs> I was just kidding, okay? My relationship with Laura is unwavering. Like the rhino beauty on this picture. 
Interesting <laughs> taste you've got. Feathers, uh, big ladies. scales, or dermal armor? A lady's a lady, my friend. Thank the wild gods for self-sacrificing gentlemen like you. Louis Stork Lady. One day, neon signs will cover the whole world. I'm telling you. You read that in some kind of science fiction book? No, it's just what I think. Oh, so you have your own thoughts now. <laughs> the world's really moving forward. I love how these Luck two off, burns each other. Fancy car, bouncer, advertisement tower. A wheel story. Oh, nice ladies. What's the other? That's like a movie poster. But I couldn't see it in the fur. It's a dog. And a cat and a... Oh. Huh. Interesting. I like this. Why is that? I don't know. Because it's moving, I guess. <laughs> You're a simple bird, aren't you? Yes, I am. Simple and proud. Moonlight Boulevard. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the new... It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Of all that's furry... How could it Who's be brand it? new if it's Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. I guess he's no paper tiger. Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. Anyway, so let's check on Louis. Hey, that's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. Lewis. Yes, it's him. To be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him for that? <laughs> or kill him for it? <laughs> You're reading my mind, boss. Sonny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. You have no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> Anyways. So, the legendary chicken police back together? <laughs> Isn't it amazing news? Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see. Well, that's a shame. See you inside? I have s s something to do, my f f f f f pal. But I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay, then. Catch you later, pal. Have you noticed that everybody's, like, wearing gloves? I mean, not everybody, but most of the people. I mean, why? Let's not bother him again. Okay. Yes, sir. Honestly, I think these types of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. Don't be so radical, she Marty. They're women. They live by different rules. Hmm, that was kind of deep. It's not. Just bullshit. There's more where that came from. Ooh, teach me, master. <laughs> when you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. Obviously. Wait, that was deep again, right? Maybe it was, Marty. Maybe it was. Amazing. Half of the dialogues are just useless. Let's just... not bother her. Okay. Okay. Let's check the bouncer. Jeez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a cheap detective novel. <laughs> yeah, I bet his name's Bill. Nah, he's definitely a Bob. Five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. Howdy, pal. Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful chilly night? 
I were expected in the Good VIP accent. lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Now stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah, I've... Uh, uh... Oh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Yeah, right. Uh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? You're right on point, pal. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course. Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman, and also a frequent visitor of the club. Mm, good is to that know. so? Good to know. <laughs> and? I'm afraid uh, that is all, monsieur. Like-minded people. Look, I really don't want any trouble, but... It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but... This place doesn't like, uh, coppers. Forgive this line. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I am strictly forbidden to. Please, you have to understand. Listen here, you cow. Do you have oh, any idea who racist. we are? You ever read the papers? <laughs> of course, I know who you are, sir. I get the news and more. And I must admit, it's an honor to meet you in person, Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. The Bell of the Pantheres is one of my favorite books. Oh my god, not the books again. What? So it what would books? be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force on you, gentlemen. What? what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Uh, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. No did problem, it... Shakespeare. This bouncer is really well spoken. I mean, wow. Just one more thing. Uh, this list of yours, uh, where should we sign up again? I'm afraid if you don't know, it's not my place to tell you, sir. Uh, Excusez-moi, the, the regulations, you know. You hear that, Sonny? I do, Marty. I do. I'm gonna lose my crest from this guy. Just wait. Just don't get too excited, Marty. Not tonight. Anyway, uh, thanks, pal. <laughs> Do you remember when the Clawville Chronicle was a really high-quality newspaper? You mean when they wrote something about us daily? Yeah. What exactly happened to them? Well, they got bored with us, Marty. And to be honest, so did I. <laughs> but still, here we are working together again. Funny, huh? Yeah, hilarious. So, let's see the entries. People. These are the same people, nothing changed. Codex. Well, there's a picturesque one. I'm gonna go and have But what could I do? Maybe cut back to Louis. Look, Louis, that bouncer over there. Well, yes, he is a bit intimidating, but his manners are impeccable. 
Am I right? I agree. Yes, indeed, but it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh, I see. <clears throat> oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Yeah, Genius. something like that. No, 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 no problem at all. Come with me. I'll talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Excuse me. Oh, jeez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? Always. Sir, how'd you do? Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. They're on the list, <laughs> okay? Largement, sir. <laughs> and as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one, g g g gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. It was my p p pleasure to help you, as always. Uh, this rabbit just became a little suspicious to me. I am, I am calling him sus right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't speak anything. Yes, gentlemen. Hey, big guy. Uh, what's your name again? My name is Archibald, sir. Oh. Archibald Conway. Well, that's not a bob. Excuse me, monsieur. Archib... what? No way, that's not even a real name. I'm because... sorry to disappoint you, sir, but uh, my name is Archibald Conway, without any doubt. Blackjack Conway to my friends. Well, thanks, Blackjack. It was a pleasure. We'll be on our way now. The Zar Club welcomes you, gentlemen. I mean, this bunny is like a hotel owner who has easy access to a closed club. Uh, yeah. The jazz overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. Well, here we are. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. <laughs> Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time it's for real. Whoa. Ah, at last a horse. What are you looking at? Ooh, ladies. Big buck. <laughs> oh, fox fella. Henchman. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I think I will leave this here for now. Uh, because another hour passed and that means that this episode is over for now but I will continue it in the next one so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video then please like share subscribe you know the drill thank you everybody for being here have a wonderful day goodbye